good morning students how are you all i hope all are good at your home i ruchi gupta teacher of class second back with my new video in this session we will learn more about our topic that is our food as we have already learned about the about different kinds of food which give us energy to perform various activities and also help us in our growth but have you ever wondered from where these food come from kahan se aate hain kahan se milte hain hame ye sare food let's identify today before starting our session first we will go through with the objectives of this video so at the end of this video you will be able to learn sources of food junk food raw food and cooked food let's begin our session number 1 is sources of food so what are the sources of food there are mainly two sources of foods plants and animals all food we get from plants and animals now we will learn food which we get from plants so we get fruits vegetables cereals and pulses dry fruits tea coffee sugar oil from plants vegetables some plants gives us vegetables here are some examples of vegetables like potato tomato cabbage cauliflower onion carrot brinjal and lady's finger fruits some plants give us fruits so here are some examples of fruits apple mango banana grapes watermelon pomegranate cherry and guava some plant give us cereals and those are bajra rice jowar maize or corn wheat so children tell me do you like popcorns yes popcorn that we enjoy in movies when we go to movie we buy popcorn and we enjoy popcorn so from where we get popcorn we get popcorn from corns and corns come from maize plant so ultimately plant also give us popcorns some plant give us pulses also so let's learn which pulses plants gives us here are some examples of pulses number 1 is pigeon peas or tuwar dal number 2 green gram or moong dal number 3 black gram or urad dal number 4 peas these are dried peas number 5 kidney beans or rajma number 6 split bengal gram or chana dal oil some plant give us oil 
Here are some examples of different kinds of oil. Number one is mustard oil. Number two, sunflower oil. Number three, olive oil. Number four, groundnut oil. And number five is coconut oil. All these kind of oils we use in our cooking. Okay, so tell me, do you like sweets? I know all of us like sweet things. But from where does the sugar come from? Do you know? No. Okay, I am going to tell you. We get sugar from sugar cane plant. Like sugar, tea and coffee. Also we get from plants only. At the time of Diwali, you must have seen some relatives and friends visit your house and gives you dry fruit as a gift. So, do you know from where we get dry fruit? Dry fruits also we get from plants. So, here are some examples of dry fruits like almond, walnut, cashew nut, pistachio. So with this we came to know that most of the food we get from plants. So plants are very useful for us. We should not harm to our plants. We should save trees and never pluck leaves, flowers unnecessarily from the plants. Now we will learn food which we get from animals. Milk. So tell me, do you drink milk every day? Yes. Very good. It is a complete food. It gives us energy. And tell me, do you know from where we get milk? No? Okay, I am going to tell you. Here are some examples of animals that gives us milk. Cow, buffalo, goat gives us milk. We get curd, cheese, paneer, butter, cream from milk. Sweets also we get from milk. Here are some more food items that we get from animals like egg, meat, fish and honey. Our second point of discussion that is junk food. So what is junk food? Junk food is a food that is high in calories but low in nutritional content. It is not good for us but it is ready to eat and quick to prepare. Here are some examples of junk food like pizza, burger, potato chips and cold drinks. I know you all love to eat these food items but these are not good for us. These are very harmful for us. We should not have too much of junk food as we may fall ill. Now. Third point of discussion is raw food and cooked food. So, uh, for understanding this, we should know in ancient time, early man used to eat food in raw form only. But after discovery of fire, people learned that they could also cook their food. 
कुकिंग मेक्स आर फूड सॉफ्ट टेस्टी एंड इजीली डाइजेस्टेबल वी कुक पल्सेस सीरियल्स एंड वेजिटेबल्स सच एज पोटैटोज एंड कॉलीफ्लावर बिफोर ईटिंग एंड दीज फूड्स आर कॉल्ड कुक फूड बट we can also eat some of the fruits and vegetables without cooking so here are some examples of raw food and cooked food examples of raw food here are some vegetables and fruits that can be eaten raw like cucumber radish onion tomatoes mango banana pineapple examples of cooked food idli dosa dal rice sandwich chapati etc so today i am done with the explanation of this chapter so at the end of this session here are some points to remember number 1 we normally eat three main meals in a day we have breakfast in the morning lunch in the afternoon and dinner at night number 2 some food items such as rice butter ghee sugar give us energy they are called energy giving food number 3 food items such as fish meat pulses milk and paneer make our body strong they are called body building food number 4 fruits and vegetables protect us from diseases they are called protective food number 5 most of the food comes from plants and animals number 6 plants gives us cereals pulses vegetables fruits oils sugar tea and coffee number 6 we get milk egg meat and fish from animals today i am done with the explanation of this chapter that was our food i hope previous two videos were also helpful for you so uh, with new video i'll come back soon so till then bye bye see ya